Thanks for joining us for another episode of ReStyle. I'm Jeff Rice with Decor Designs. It's my pleasure to introduce my new co-host, friend and colleague, Judy Polinski. Hi, Judy. Hi, Jeff. Thank you. I'm Judy Polinski with Fresh Look Interiors and the Staging and Redesign Academy. I'm thrilled to be joining Jeff on ReStyle, where we'll be bringing you tips, ideas, and solutions to your decorating dilemmas. I've been in business for eight years, although just like Jeff and everybody else in this industry, I've been doing it all, all my life, pretty much. And today we're going to talk about the top five decorating mistakes that we see most often in people's homes, wouldn't you say? Yes, although there's many more than five, these are the ones that we see time and time again. So we hope you'll enjoy the show. So we're going to count down the top five decorating mistakes that we see most often, and we're going to start with matched furniture sets. I can't tell you how many times we've walked into a space and seen where it looks like they've gone into the furniture store and said, I'll buy that, that whole set. And you know, they pick page 10 out of their favorite home shopping catalog and that's what they create in the room. And when you get too matchy-matchy, it leaves no room for your personality in the space. Or the perception that you really didn't give too much thought to how you did your home decor, right? Correct. Exactly. Number four is overlooked window treatments in a room. How many times have you walked into a space and seen that they either have them hung too high, too low, there aren't any? They don't have any at all, yeah. Window treatments are kind of like, for a woman, it's kind of like getting all dressed up to go out for dinner or something and forgetting to put on jewelry. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine doing that. You would feel naked, so I can't imagine how people can let that go in a room. Absolutely. And probably number three on our countdown would be too many family pictures. Um, maybe it's a guy thing, I don't know, but I really don't want to see family photos all over the house. I really, if these are people I'm never going to meet, I'm probably not uh, interested in seeing their pictures all over. Well, Jeff, I have to say it probably is a guy thing because I do go into people's homes and maybe it's a nosy woman thing, but I do look at these photos. But there does come a point when there's too many in a space and you do have to really pare them down and narrow them down. And please put them somewhere where if they are going to be on display, we can see the faces. One of the mistakes we see all of the time is that they're hung on a wall far off in a room and I can't see any of the faces so it doesn't do any good anyway. And if you're using your family photos as artwork, that brings us to number two, which is artwork hung too high. Jeff, haven't you spoken about that in some of your other episodes? Time and time again, we've talked about hanging artwork and how to hang artwork. I'm six foot two, so if you're gonna follow the cardinal rule of hanging artwork, you're gonna hang it much too high if you're hanging it for me versus... And I'm five foot two, so if you hang it at my eye level, five foot two, six foot two, those eye levels are very different. And hanging it too close to the ceiling does what? leaves it floating in the space. Exactly. It's just ridiculous. Exactly. Jeff, how many times have you walked into a client's home just to find every collectible and tchotchke out on display? Everything they own is on display and that brings us to probably our number one top decorating mistake, which is accessory overload. Correct. If you don't love it, pitch it. If you don't love it, pitch it. I love that analogy. If you don't love it, pitch it. Just because you've had it for years and years and years. If it's obviously, if it's a family memento or something, we're not saying get rid of those types of things, but. But it has to be something that really means something to you. Just because Aunt Agnes gave you a vase 20 years ago does not mean that she's gonna come back from the grave and haunt you nor if you it, get rid of it. Nor does it mean that you have to have every single thing that you own on display. Correct. It creates too much visual busyness. You can't work around all of those things. It takes away your decorating inspiration when you have so much out. Exactly. And there you have the top five decorating mistakes that we see most often. Wouldn't you agree? I would. And next time we'll bring you the tips, tricks, and solutions to fix those mistakes. I'm Jeff Rice with Decor Designs. And I'm Judy Polinski with Fresh Look Interiors in the SRA. And, and together, together, we'll make, we'll make the, the most, most of your, your good, good taste. taste.